have few got your Rubik's Cube in this situation and want to assemble it back when you add the red tutorial you are looking for. Today I am going to show you how to assemble a Rubik's Cube. So without any further ado, let's get started. So this method is very easy to follow and very easy to assemble. So let's introduce you the pieces first. This, this is the biggest piece of our broken Rubik's Cube. This has centers. It is called an axis because it helps it rotate and it's more like a fidget spinner. The pieces which have two color and have two these pieces coming up these are called the edges. Now the pieces with three colors and this triangular piece is called as a corner. So as you now have learned the pieces and their names let's sort them out. Edge, 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 corner, edge, edge, corner, corner, edge, edge, corner, edge, edge, corners, corner, edge and edge. And remember that you will have only one axis and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight corners and one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve edges. So now, first of all, for our first step is to build a cross of one of the colors. So choose a color. I choose red. So first we take all the red edge pieces. And first we need to look at the color of the red edge, red edge piece. So here is red and white. So we will see where red and white can fit. So here is the white center and here is the red center. So here it will fit. And remember to keep your hand for support so it doesn't break down. So we are done with one edge. Now let's go to the other edge. So this one is red and yellow. So let's see where is red and yellow. Red and yellow. Here it is. So let's fix it. Okay. So here we have a line. Yellow and white. Now very carefully hold them tight. And look for the next, next red edge piece. So here I have one red and blue. Hold this line very tightly and assemble it. So here you see we have three edge pieces assembled. And remember them to orient them properly otherwise your cube will be in a wrong position when it's finished. Now, now let's look for the red and green edge piece. Here it is. Correct orientation and here is our cross. Now let's look for corner pieces which include red color. So here I have one. It has red, yellow and blue. So let's see. Hmm. Where a red, yellow and blue can fit. Here it can fit. Red, blue and yellow. So here it is. Now holding these pieces very tightly. Take another red corner piece. Here I have red, blue and white. Now red, blue and white. 
it can fit white blue and red orient it properly and assemble it now you need to hold it very very carefully now take one more edge piece it is red yellow and green so here red yellow sorry white and green here it can assemble now look for the last red edge piece, uh, corner piece red green and yellow so here we have one color now after this one um, after we have finished one color it's very easy now just hold it tightly and flip it over so you have the axis looking like this with just like we built build our first layer of a rubik's cube now let's assemble other edges now let's take one more edge it should it should not include orange or the opposite color the that you are assembling so if you are you have started assembling white color then you shouldn't see a white is i mean yellow edge if you are assembling from blue color then don't take a green edge if you are assembling a yellow color then don't take the edge of a white and if you are using orange then don't take a red edge so now here is one is that doesn't include the opposite color it is blue and white now let's see blue and white here it is it can fit in and it is easily fit now this one this is an orange one uh, orange colored one so let's take it out here it is green and yellow green and yellow green and yellow here it is green and yellow orient it properly and assemble another edge green and white so green and white here it is it is now the last edge this is um huh. carefully don't let the rubik's cube piece break so here we have the second layer now we'll assemble the orange corners first so it's easier because the edges are easier to assemble the corn then assemble the corners so here one is, uh, here is one orange white and blue there shouldn't be any red edge with you right now orient it properly and here it is on this is orange yellow and green so orange yellow and green now let's rotate it because we have only two edge uh, corners to assemble here it is orange green and white orange green and white And we 
remember the center should be also not diagonal it should be proper final line corner orange blue and white orange blue and white so we are almost done just time to assemble the edges you should have only orange as edges right now so here's one orange and green orange and green here it is orange and green so let's put it in and now let's rotate it now let's look for a orange and yellow edge orange and yellow remember the corner shouldn't shift otherwise you will feel that the edges edge is done now let's look for the orange and blue here it is and now let's done and last one and your cube will be finished orange and white and here is your rubik's cube reassembled and if you have any pieces coming out like this push it and we are done your rubik's cube is back in position and it can be rotated So, I hope you understand how to assemble a Rubik's cube now. And believe me, this is one of the easiest ways to assemble a Rubik's cube. So, for more tutorials like this, keep that subscribe button gray from red to gray by clicking it. Give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends. Thank you. Bye.